Rumors return of Nokia building a Windows-based tablet. Amazon's next Kindle Fire lineup specs get leaked, and it seems that the Nokia Lumia 1020 has been off to a slow start. I'm Jaime Rivera, and you know, I'm gonna vote for Tuesdays to be days off, because Mondays are stressful enough. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some sad Nokia news, as everybody here at Pocket Now wants a Lumia 1020. We all do, but as it turns out, apparently the market is not behaving the same. Apparently the phone is not really the best-selling phone anywhere, which is odd since phones really are best-sellers during their first days, and then they obviously decline. And as it turns out, the phone is not charted anywhere, not on Amazon, not on AT&T, and the behavior is just odd. So obviously we're waiting for numbers coming from Nokia or AT&T, but it's really sad that this phone, being what it is, is not really what Windows Phone and Nokia need to pull them out of the water. Let's see what happens. Now, speaking of Nokia, we've got more rumors of the company working on building a Windows-based tablet. The Model RX114 apparently is already been showing off on benchmark tests, and even though we can't obviously judge if that tablet is ever going to make the light of day, the sad news here is that that thing runs Windows RT. So, anyways. And just how bad is Windows RT? Well, we know that ASUS is pretty much the second bestseller when it comes to ARM-based tablets after Apple. And as it turns out, the company's CEO has just confirmed that they will not be building any more Windows RT tablets. They have confirmed that nobody is wanting this operating system, which is just funny because you can't really tell the difference visually between RT and Windows 8. And it seems that consumers do understand what they're buying as apparently their Vivo tabs never picked up. So uh, yeah, that's how bad Windows RT is. Let's see, and let's hope that Microsoft fixes this in future updates. Now let's talk about some Samsung news as well. First of all, benchmark companies have detected that Samsung's been faking the benchmark results of the Galaxy S4. And just think about this. I mean, apparently the S4, the Exynos version, detects when it's being tested, and it boosts the GPU performance in order to obviously show itself to be better, which is odd since the phone is good on its own. And then on the other hand, we've got some other news of the company actually working on an 8-core processor coming in the future that will actually use the 8 cores all the time. So uh, no more faking it seems. And finally for the, uh, well, for the interesting news of the day, we've got some leaked specifications of the future Kindle Fire lineup. Whether it's going to be called HD or whatever it's going to be called, we've got a Snapdragon 800 processor, two gigabytes of RAM, and a lot of other high-end specifications coming to this tablet lineup. Links down below in the description for full details on every single spec on the list. But, you know, anyways, that leads me to the question of the day. I mean, does any of you actually care about these Kindle Fire tablets? tablets. Because in my particular case, honestly, any locked tablet, regardless of how well I can root it, is a worthless tablet. But leave us a comment down below, do you actually care about these Kindle Fire tablets? Because the market doesn't seem to care that much. Of course, as always, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow. And remember to join us on Thursday at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where we'll be having our live hangout and our roundtable of everything that happens at the Moto X event. See you there.